want to say what what uh what color is uh crimson? I think it's red, if I'm mistaken. Y'all bear with us. It's red. Yeah, yeah. All right, that's all I want to know. Then. Strong red color. That's all I wanted to know. Okay. All right. Read it again from the top. This is uh, Jeremiah 5 and 30. And when thou art spoiled, what what wilt thou do? Right. Though thou clo clothest thyself with crimson. Yeah, clothest thyself with crimson. Red. The Jake woman like wearing red. And what would, what, if, thou, if thou spoil, what would I do? Because what it is, is the most high bringing down the so-called white man, and you go to the so-called white man for your benefit. That's why you that's why you join unto him. So when the most high take away the benefits of the so-called white man and rob him and bring him down, what you gonna do? Because that's how you living off of him. Go ahead. No thou deckest be with ornaments of gold. Yeah, you got on earrings, necklaces, and all that, bracelets for Esau. Go ahead. Though thou rentest thy face with painting. Rentest thy face. Look up the word rent. Rentest thy face. See what that means. Might be destroyed, man. Who knows? I ain't looked it up in a long time, man. That's why I'm having the brother do it now. Fuck it. It ain't good, I can tell you that. It's, uh, the Strong's H. Okay, you got it, bro. Bring it out. Strong's H7167. Kara. And it's uh, to tear, tear in pieces. Oh, to tear in pieces, man. To tear, to rent, to tear away, or out, to tear, rent, asunder, to make wide or large, of eyes, to rent open, of heavens, to tear, rent, of wild beasts, to be rent, be split, asunder. So basically, tear your face up. To yep. tear your natural look up, basically. What you got, huh? Yeah, 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 bring that out. Hey, to tear, to tear. Basically, when it says to rent thy face, basically to tear your, tear your appearance up how you really look. You're basically destroying yourself, man, by putting on that makeup. And when you take it out, that's why you look all dried up and stuff. You're basically tearing up your natural look, man. Because of Esau, because of Esau told you he like it like this. And when you go on these shows on BT and... Uh, like uh, uh, Housewives of Atlanta and all these shows and look at all these uh, rap artists they put on piles of makeup where do you think they got that from? E Esau she, she she doing it for Esau and it influenced these other women to do it and then they'll tell you well they do it on TV the movie star like to do it like that we thought y'all men liked it like that nah who told you that? yeah why you ask me? who told you that? you got you with the Esau, the devil, man. You still listen to the serpent, man. You still listening to the serpent. And destroying your destroying your face. Tearing your face up. Because you following the serpent. Esau. The devil. Go ahead, bro. Do what you got. And the and uh, the pocket. Uh, this is uh, Ecclesiasticus 26 and 9. The whoredom of a woman may be known in her haunting looks in islands. Yeah, because they put on that eyeshadow, man. Okay? They put on that eyeshadow, man. A lot of, a lot of these women that put on powder to make up like that, they straight sluts, man. They hoes, man. The scriptures say it, man. The scriptures don't lie, man. Read it again, bro. This is uh, Ecclesiasticus 26 and 9. 
the whoredom of a woman may be known in her haunty looks and eyelids. Yeah, haunty is proud, man. Man. Yeah. And these women are proud, man. The, 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 the so-called Mexican, the so-called Puerto Rican, the so-called African-American, the so-called Haitian woman, all of them are proud, man. Because they listen to the serpent, man. Esau, the devil that the Bible speaks of, man. And they straight sluts and hoes, man. Go ahead, bro. Because they fall in, they listen to Esau and they fall out the so-called white woman, man. The Edomite woman. Go ahead. Verse 10. If thy daughter be shameless, keep her in straightly, lest she abuse herself. Yeah, because if you don't, if you don't uh, keep a, a, uh, keep your daughter from uh, running with these other women and, 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 and watch her and be disciplined towards her, when she get free, she going to abuse her, man. She going to abuse man. You got to keep a close eye on her, man, because she going to abuse that, that freedom, man. And before you know it, man, she going to bring shame to your house, man. All these women are gone, man. All of them are gone, man. But the scripture just tell you how to govern your household, man, and what to look for, and what to look for uh, when it comes to harlots, man. When it comes to hoes, man. But all these women are gone, man. You ain't you ain't disciplining your kids in Babylon, man. It's it's over, with, man. This place is done, man. That's why that's why the Most High gonna have to destroy this place and get us up out of it, man. But these women are gone, man. These women are gone. Go ahead, bro. Lest she abuse herself through over much. Liberty. Yeah, over much liberty, man. You see what I'm saying, man? This place is this place is done, man. Go back to what we was, bro. And Isaiah. I mean the Jeremiah. Finish that off. This is uh, Jeremiah 5 and 30. And when thou art spoiled, what wilt thou do? Through thou clothest thyself with crimson. Though thou deckest thee with ornaments of gold, though thou rentest thy face with painting. Yeah, turn your face up with that paint, with that makeup. Go ahead. In vain shalt thou make thyself fair. Yeah, beauty. Okay? Fair is dealing with beauty, man. So, you putting all that makeup on and piling, piling makeup on yourself, that's vain, man. Okay? That's vain, man. That's worthless. That's empty, man. When the Most High created you and gave you a natural look, you got an artificial look. Go ahead. Thy lovers will despise thee. Thy lovers will despise thee. You know why? Because he don't see the change in you when he lose them benefits. When he lose them goodies and he can't give them goodies to you no more, he gonna see the change in you. And it's going to be chaos out here. He's going to despise you. You Israelite women that join the Esau. Go ahead. They will seek thy life. They will seek thy life. In other words, they're going to kill you. <laughs> yeah. And then kill themselves. You see? Go ahead. Verse 31. For I have heard a voice... As of a woman in travail. As in a woman in travail. Go ahead. And the anguish as of her that bringeth forth her first child. Yeah, a firstborn in pain. Suffering. Yeah. Them birth pains ain't no joke. Go ahead. The voice of the daughter of Zion. The voice of the daughter of Zion. Go ahead. That bewaileth herself, that spreadeth her hands, saying, Woe is me now. Yeah. She spread her hands <laughs> to the heaven and said, Destruction unto me now. In other words, because her lover had despised her, Esau. You know what I'm saying? She decorated herself for Esau. The most I took all his wealth. And he see the change in her. Right? And he gonna and he wanna and he wanna kill her. Okay? Because he's stressed out. And he, he see the change in her. And guess what? She gonna say, woe is me, being destruction unto me, man. Go ahead. Woe is me now, for my soul is 
worried because of murders. <laughs> Who is the murderer? Lisa! You see that? That's it on that, bro. Alright, so go back. Who we was? And uh, Jeff and I. This is uh, the book of Zephaniah, chapter 2, verse 1. Gather yourselves together, yea, to gather together, O nation, not desire. Right. Gather yourself together in what? In one mind and the spirit of power, y'all by should not be shot, man. Okay? Come back to your nationality. Come back to knowing the Heavenly Father and His Son. Get understanding of the Word, man. Gather yourself together in one mind, man. According to the scriptures. Go ahead. So, uh, verse 2. Before the decree. Now, break, start from the top again. Read again. Sephaniah chapter 2, verse 1. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together, O nation not desire. Yeah, because the only, only uh, desire means longing for. Okay? The only, the only, uh, uh, the only ones that's longing for the children of Israel is the Heavenly Father and His Son, man. Okay? These other nations not longing to be with the children of Israel. They want to separate themselves from the Negro life of the Native America. Okay? The Most High want His elect out of this condition. Go ahead. So, verse 2. Before the decree brings forth, before the day pass as the shaft, before the the fierce anger of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai comes upon you before the day of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai's anger come upon you. Read it again for me. This is Zephaniah chapter 2 verse 2. Before the decree brings forth. Yeah, before the law uh, dealing with the judgment. When you read uh, Zephaniah the first chapter, okay, the Most High, it said, he going to bring judgment. So that's the law that the Most High is going to bring judgment upon this earth. And money and finances and all that not going to help you in that day. Okay? So that's the decree. That's the law of where the Most High is going to judge this place and destroy it. Go ahead. Before the day pass as the shaft. And before the day pass as the shaft. In other words, shaft is like uh, like grain. Okay? So give me uh, dough. This is uh, Job 21 and 18. Go ahead. They are as stubble before the wind, and as chaff that the storm carrieth away. So there you go. What storm? The wrath of the Most High in His Son, man. That's the storm, man. It's going to carry these people away like grain, man. Okay? It's going to blow them out the way like grain, man. When the Most High unleashes anger on this earth, man. That's it on that, bro. All right, go back to Zephaniah. Before the fierce anger of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh come upon you. Yeah, gather yourself together in one mind. Better get it together, man. Because the Most High is gonna judge this place. Go ahead. Before the day of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh anger. Come upon you. Go ahead. Verse 3. Seek ye Yahweh by some Yahweh all ye meet of the earth. Yeah, you want this weak, humble, poor. That's what that means. Go ahead. Which have brought his, his judgment. Seek righteousness. Seek meekness. It may be ye shall be hid in the day of Yahweh by some Yahweh anger. Yeah. There you go, man. Better leave that world, man. Give me uh, Romans, the 12th chapter. Better leave that world, man. Because the most high don't judge. These niggas like the Native Native American, two thirds of them that's in that world, man. He gonna get them, man, because they not gonna repent for what they have done, man. They not gonna repent. And then uh, somebody hold me back to the 25th chapter. Uh, this is Romans chapter 2, verse 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High, that ye present your bodies 
a living sacrifice. That's what we're doing when we out here on these streets, man. And that's what you're doing when you apply these scriptures to the best of your ability, man. You present your body as a living sacrifice, man. Okay? You separate yourself from this world, you become one with your whole body now with shot, man. You become uh, one with their body, man. Okay? You deny yourself, man. You're no longer that person that you used to be in the world, man. That's sacrificing. Go ahead. Holy acceptable unto the most high see holy and acceptable okay being in the world you ain't acceptable man the most high the heavenly father and his son don't know you and then people say well you can come as you are now you can't i've heard that growing up in them fake churches you can come as you are now you can't hey man you got to change man you got to change man you got to change your outlook, the way you think, okay? How you conduct yourself, man. You got to change, man. You got to come back to your nationality and get into this word and understand what the Heavenly Father and His Son like and what they don't like, man. You got to change, man. Go ahead. Yeah. Holy, acceptable to the Most High, which is your reasonable service. Go ahead. Verse 2. And be not conformed to this world. Be not conformed to this world, man. Because this world teaches that being a sodomite is okay. Okay? This world teaches that everybody is equal. This world teaches that the Heavenly Father and His Son love everybody. That's a lie. This world don't teach you about who you are according to the scripture. This, this world bear hugs lies, man. They embrace lies. Okay? They don't embrace the truth, man. Okay? Go ahead. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Yeah, by the renewing of your mind. So you have to walk in the Spirit, man. Okay? You have to understand and walk in the Spirit and know that this thing is spirit, spiritual and know these people got hella demons on them, man. They got hella demons on them, man. Okay? Know that these people are proud as hell, man. Know that they ain't right with the Heavenly Father and His Son, man. They don't believe in them. They're all liars and fakers, man. Hypocrites. Go ahead. That ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will the most high for I say through the grace given unto me to every man that is among you not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think yeah you're supposed to be humble and know that the heavenly father and his son gave you this knowledge and wisdom and understanding that woke you up to this truth same way same way he, he gave it to you same way he can take it from you so don't be proud man okay that's why we are brothers always uh, 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 quote this scripture, Psalm, uh, Psalm 51 11, man. That's a powerful scripture, man. And uh, that was David praying to the Most High uh, not to take his spirit from him after he committed adultery, man. When you deal with that chapter, man. Okay? So he was begging the Most High not to spit him out. Okay? Not to take his Holy Spirit from him, man. All right, man, don't let that pride grow in you, because that leads to destruction, man. Go ahead. But to think soberly, according as the Most High had dealt to every man the measure of faith. The measure of faith, man, so keep faith, man. But that's what it's about, man. Having faith, man. So you get proud, man. That'll separate you from the Heavenly Father and His Son, man. Okay? So, give me Matthew. That's all I wanted out of that, bro. So, give me Matthew. Let's start at Matthew 25 in the first verse. This is Matthew uh, this chapter was... 25, verse 1. Go ahead. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins. Okay. Go ahead. Which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. Right, which took their lamps 
to go forth to meet the bridegroom. Now, you got a lamp, and the lamp has oil in it. And what does that oil do? It keeps the fire going in that lamp. Okay? So, the word that we got that's in us, it keeps the fire going that's in us, man. It's about the wisdom and the knowledge of the Heavenly Father and His Son, man. Okay? Understanding Him according to the Scriptures, man. Okay? That's what that lamp uh, has in it. It has knowledge and wisdom and understanding in it, man. Which is the oil which keeps the fire going. So that fire is in us. Okay? Symbolic. That's what that's talking about. Go ahead. The verse 2. And five of them were wise. Five of them were wise. Why? Because they had the knowledge. That's what made them wise. Because they had the knowledge, man. That's what made them wise. Because they had the knowledge, man. Nothing else. Okay? Because they had the knowledge. Go ahead. And five were foolish. And five were foolish. Meaning ungodly. They were wicked. Okay? Because they didn't they didn't take heed and get understanding of the Heavenly Father and His Son. So they didn't have that oil in them to keep that fire going, to keep that lamp going. Okay? Go ahead. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. They that were foolish took their lamp and took no oil with them. What was that oil? To keep the fire going which is the wisdom, which is supposed to be in you. Okay? They weren't taking heed to this word. They weren't applying these scriptures. They weren't renewed in the spirit, man, in their mind, man. They weren't transformed, man. So you got five with, five with wise and five with foolish, man. Okay? And this is the calling, man. We tell you about these scriptures according to the King James Bible, but it's going to come a time, man, to where this internet going to be cut off, man. And you jakes that, that hear this word and don't understand these scriptures and not applying them and don't know the counsel of the Heavenly Father and His Son and looking at this for entertainment, you're going to be counted as a, as a foolish virgin, man. That's what it's going to be, man. Go ahead. Verse 4. But the wise took oil in their vessel with their lamp. The wise took oil in their vessel with their lamp. And what did the wise do? They taught other men, okay? And they went out here and, 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 and continued to teach the word of the Heavenly Father and His Son so other men may uh, uh, get understanding. Okay? But the foolish was lollygagging. They wasn't doing what they were supposed to do, man. They didn't have faith. Okay, go ahead. Verse 5. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. Yeah, they all slumbered and slept. Go ahead. And at night and at midnight, there was a cry made. Yeah, there was a cry made, man. Give me uh, but that was a cry for the Lord. Okay? That was a cry for the Lord, man, to get out of this condition, man. And also it was a cry that uh you had people out there that was teaching the scriptures, that was teaching them wrong, man. You had men signing and crying about that, too. Give me uh, uh, Matthew 7 and uh, 23. That's why the Lord going to say this, man. Because that was a cry for that, too, man. You got men out here that's teaching these scriptures completely wrong, man. And that was a cry to the Lord about that, man. Go ahead. This is Matthew Chapter 7, verse 23. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man. See? The wise. So what is it going back to? It's going back to the Word, man. Read that again. 